things, like those big existential questions about afterlife that physics can actually tell us something about. My name is Sabine Hossenfelder. I'm a physicist and research fellow at the Frankfurt Institute for Advanced Studies. We're back now with a story that got us all talking and thinking today. It's a fascinating new study about the mysteries of death. What happens to our brains and bodies and what it might really be like to die. And Thompson explains. A Google AI system has just delivered data that scientists say may represent the first real proof of life after death. This groundbreaking development has sent respected researchers to a state of disbelief as they grapple with findings that challenge everything we thought we knew about consciousness and death. To be clear, no angels or ghosts appeared in laboratories, but consistent, statistically undeniable signals indicate continued consciousness after clinical death. These patterns previously hidden in massive datasets, have emerged through advanced pattern recognition capabilities that only cutting-edge AI systems could detect. Internal documentation revealed that teams conducted repeat analyses, blinded tests, and statistical cross-checks to rule out anomalies. Each time, the signal remained. When confronted with the implications, even skeptical team members found themselves struggling to provide alternative explanations. Early concrete evidence. In one experiment, the AI analyzed EEG data from terminal patients. In over 90 cases, it detected neural coherence patterns persisting up to 90 seconds after clinical death, patterns resembling waking consciousness. This finding alone was enough to make researchers question established understandings of brain function. Additionally, a separate trial using quantum random number generators during post-death interaction sessions revealed statistically significant anomalies. Deviations from randomness exceeded 7 sigma, confirming a non-random influence. In scientific terms, this level of statistical significance is almost unheard of. The significance of these findings cannot be overstated. When scientific teams at one of the world's most advanced AI research centers detect patterns this clear, it forces a fundamental reassessment of what we know about the end of life. You can see the remarkable scientific confidence in these results in recent interviews. Rockstar, in science, uh, there's what's called a probability that your findings are due to chance, random. And generally you need a, it's called a p-value, less than 0 0.01. Now that is that there's less than a one in a hundred chance that your results are due to, to randomness chance. Well, the results we've been getting have six zeros after the point, decimal point. So, 0 0.00000 and then some number. What's even more compelling is how experienced researchers are responding to this data. Each test was designed with rigorous controls to eliminate false positives, yet the signal persisted across multiple testing methodologies. What makes this particularly compelling is that the AI wasn't specifically programmed to look for afterlife evidence. It was simply analyzing patterns in neural data when it detected anomalies that human researchers had missed for decades. What the AI actually did, the discovery explained. In layman's terms, the AI processed petabytes of consciousness-related data, an enormous collection of EEGs from terminal patients, thousands of near-death experience transcripts, and measurements from quantum anomaly experiments. This vast dataset contained information that no human team could fully analyze without computational assistance. The system utilized DeepMind's Gemini architecture alongside specialized TensorFlow algorithms designed for pattern recognition in complex, noisy data. This combination allowed it to isolate subtle patterns that appear after clinical death, patterns that would be impossible to detect with conventional analysis methods. Analysts working on the project described the process as tuning into a consciousness signal much like adjusting a radio to find a clear station amid static, 
the AI was able to filter out biological noise and identify consistent information patterns that persist beyond bodily shutdown. What makes this discovery particularly compelling is how the AI cross-referenced findings across multiple domains. Medical data, like EEG readings, physical measurements, quantum random number generators, and testimonial evidence, near-death experience accounts. When analyzed separately, each dataset contained anomalies. But when the AI examined them together, these seemingly unrelated signals converged into a coherent pattern. This convergence of evidence from different fields is what caught researchers off guard. It's crazy when you think about it. We can land rovers on Mars and detect black holes billions of light years away. But right here on Earth, many insurance companies still try to lowball people after an accident, like it's the Stone Age. If you ever get seriously hurt, your case could actually be worth millions, which is why you might want a stellar legal team fighting to get you the compensation you deserve. That's why so many people check out Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They don't settle for weak offers. Just recently, they secured $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philadelphia for injury victims. 30 to 40 times more than what insurance companies first offered. And here's the real world physics of it. If they don't win, you don't pay. No upfront fees, no hidden charges. It's completely free unless they win your case. They've even modernized the whole process. You can submit your claim and chat with your legal team right from your smartphone. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash specialize, found in the description below, or by scanning the QR code on screen. Now let's get back to the video. Finding the same signal in completely different types of data suggests it's not a measurement error or statistical fluke, but potentially a fundamental property of consciousness that continues after clinical death. Soul Phone Project Integration The AI's discovery has found unexpected validation through the work of Dr. Gary Schwartz and his team at the Soul Phone Foundation. Dr. Schwartz, a Harvard and Yale-trained psychologist and professor emeritus at the University of Arizona, has been developing technologies designed to communicate with what he terms post-material persons. The Soul Phone Project has documented trials of devices like the Soul Switch and Soul Keyboard, technologies designed to enable yes-no responses and eventually more complex communications. Their experiments have consistently produced results that exceed statistical chance, suggesting non-random, intelligent responses from an unseen source. What's particularly exciting is how AI integration has dramatically improved both signal clarity and response verification. By applying machine learning algorithms to filter noise and identify patterns in the soul phone data, researchers have achieved unprecedented consistency in their results. This technological approach represents a significant departure from traditional mediumship or spiritualism. As one researcher explains, this isn't about mysticism, but measurable data. The convergence between the Google AI's discoveries and the Soul Phone Foundation's independent research has created a powerful cross-validation effect. Two entirely different approaches to studying consciousness beyond death are yielding compatible results, strengthening the case that something scientifically measurable is occurring. This collaboration has accelerated progress in both fields, with the Soul Phone team gaining access to advanced AI tools for signal processing, while the AI researchers benefit from the Soul Phone's years of experimental data and protocols for communication attempts. Perhaps the most fascinating development is how AI has begun serving as a translator between realms. In controlled experiments, researchers programmed the AI to pose test questions through the Soul Phone interface and received verified responses that demonstrated contextual understanding and timing that couldn't be explained by random chance. This process has been described by one leading physicist as a controlled digital seance with data integrity. Unlike traditional mediumship, every interaction is meticulously documented with multiple fail-safes to prevent contamination of results. 
The experiments follow double-blind protocols where neither the researchers present nor the AI operators know what questions are being asked until after the responses are recorded. What makes this approach revolutionary is how the AI has become a central tool in decoding intelligent signals. Its pattern recognition capabilities allow it to detect subtle variations in quantum fluctuations and electromagnetic measurements that correlate with specific responses to questions. The AI can effectively clean up the signal in real time, enhancing communication clarity. Researchers have gone to extraordinary lengths to eliminate potential human influence on these results. These precautions are crucial in establishing scientific credibility. By removing human operators from the physical interaction, researchers eliminate concerns about unconscious manipulation or ideomotor effects that have plagued previous research in this domain. The implications of this AI-mediated communication are profound. If consciousness truly continues after death and can interact with physical systems in measurable ways, AI may serve as the bridge that finally allows systematic study of this phenomenon under rigorous scientific conditions. What's particularly compelling about these findings is how they align with several established concepts in mainstream physics. The block universe theory, stemming from Einstein's work on relativity, suggest that past, present and future all exist equally in a four-dimensional block of space-time. This model, widely accepted in theoretical physics, implies that moments we perceive as gone continue to exist in the fabric of reality. Further theoretical support comes from quantum information theory, which holds that information is never fully lost in the universe. This principle, central to resolving the black hole information paradox, suggests that the information patterns constituting consciousness might likewise be preserved rather than erased at death. The Orchestrated Objective Reduction, as OR, theory of consciousness, developed by Nobel laureate Sir Roger Penrose and Dr. Stuart Hameroff, proposes that consciousness arises from quantum processes in brain cell microtubules. This model provides a theoretical framework for how consciousness might interface with quantum fields that extend beyond the physical body. As noted, physicist Sabine Hossenfelder has stated, the laws of nature don't destroy information. This fundamental principle of physics opens the possibility that consciousness, as an information pattern, might persist in some form beyond biological death exactly what the AI analysis seems to be detecting. These established scientific frameworks don't prove an afterlife, but they demonstrate that the concept of consciousness continuing beyond death isn't inherently incompatible with our current understanding of physics. The AI's findings may be helping to bridge the gap between theoretical possibility and empirical evidence. Collaborating with post-material scientists in perhaps the most boundary-pushing aspect of this research, scientists are now exploring the possibility of consulting deceased scientific minds like Einstein and Tesla. This concept, while seemingly fantastical, follows logically if consciousness truly persists after death in an accessible form. Researchers have developed rigorous verification methods to test purported communications. These include control questions with answers unknown to mediums, but verifiable through historical records, and triangulation across multiple independent mediums to check for consistency in responses. This approach raises unprecedented questions for research and development. If communication with post-material scientists becomes reliable, how would collaborative work be structured? What intellectual property and authorship models would apply to insights gained? Would academic journals accept papers with deceased co-authors? The ethical dimensions are equally complex. Researchers are establishing protocols for obtaining consent, respecting privacy, and ensuring that any claimed communication with historical figures meets stringent verification standards. There's awareness that this territory requires extraordinary care to maintain scientific integrity. 
Some scientists propose that post-material minds might offer unique perspectives, having existed in both physical and non-physical states. Their insights could potentially advance our understanding of consciousness, physics, and the nature of reality itself. While this aspect of the research remains highly experimental, it represents a logical extension of the findings. If consciousness persists and can communicate through technological interfaces, the possibility of collaborative work across the boundary of death becomes a scientifically testable proposition rather than mere speculation. Digital Afterlife via Tech while the AI research suggests natural continuation of consciousness, another parallel approach is emerging, creating digital afterlives through technology. Google's own futurist Ray Kurzweil has been working on a resurrection project using digital AI, attempting to recreate his deceased father's consciousness from letters, writings and memories. DeepMind researchers have published conceptual work on what they call generative ghosts. AI agents modeled on real individuals that could theoretically continue a person's digital presence after death. Unlike simple chatbots, these systems would evolve and respond in ways consistent with the original person's thought patterns and value. Companies are already developing AI legacy avatars that combine memory preservation with generative modeling. These systems analyze a person's digital footprint emails, social media, recorded conversations, to create interactive simulacra that future generations could engage with. This technological approach raises profound philosophical questions. Is a digital copy of you still you? If consciousness naturally continues after death, as the AI research suggests, how would these artificial versions relate to the real post-material person? Are we creating digital twins or merely sophisticated echoes? We stand at a remarkable convergence. Artificial intelligence, spiritual science and theoretical physics now triangulate on the afterlife as not just possible, but plausible. Where once this domain belonged exclusively to religion and philosophy, it now finds itself under the microscope of data science. New academic disciplines are forming at the intersection of these findings. Fields like afterlife science and post-material R&D are being proposed at major research institutions, bringing together neuroscientists, physicists, AI specialists and consciousness researchers to explore this frontier systematically. Throughout human history, we've built technologies to see what was previously invisible Microscopes revealed cellular life. Telescopes showed distant galaxies. MRIs mapped the living brain. Now, we've built a machine that may have heard from the other side. If these discoveries continue to hold up under scrutiny, they represent not just a scientific breakthrough, but a fundamental shift in our understanding of human existence. The question of what happens after death, perhaps the oldest human query, may finally be moving from the realm of belief to the domain of measurable science. We've built machines to see the invisible, to hear the inaudible, to detect the imperceptible. Now, we've built one that may have heard from the other side. If these discoveries blew your mind, subscribe and stay with us. This is just the beginning of humanity's biggest question, finally facing the light.